Yo, what is up guys? So we're here to take a look at a few new anime cards. Now keep in mind that these are just anime cards. However, we're getting a lot of new anime cards in the game. Uh, Mischief of the Time Goddess is actually one of the most broken ones uh, of all time. We're getting this card. Uh, so this is like a perfect time to talk about some of these new anime cards. And we'll talk about maybe that they'll get th some of their effects changed or not. But I mean, Mischief of the Time Goddess is absolutely insane. Uh, but some of the cards uh, that we've gotten, you know, from the anime, like Divine Serpent Geb, when we got this card announced, I was really hyped for it because, well, it has infinite attack, but obviously having infinite attack would be a little OP. Basically, it attacks over anything uh, for the most part in the game. But um, this card actually has like a bonus effect where it can't be targeted. Now, the anime effect does not have this, but this video isn't necessarily about Divine Serpent Get, but I wanted to briefly talk about Mischief of the Time Goddess because this is like a, a really broken card. In fact, we actually covered this card on the most broken and overpowered Yu-Gi-Oh! anime cards like of all time. Uh, I'm going to link this video down below. It's a really cool vid. Highly recommend you guys to check it out if, in case any of you guys want to see what some anime cards do but anyways mischief of the time goddess is a quick play spell card that says skip one turn to your turn's battle phase and we'll get into some of the newer cards in just a second but they actually have mentioned this card uh not too long ago they said it's going to come out and it's going to like help your like uh, uh fairy Valk valkyries be able to uh actually where is this one uh, this is in uh shadows over valhalla they basically mention over here uh where it says uh, where is it? Uh, win the duel by attacking with your Valkyries twice without giving your opponent a turn in between courtesy of Mischief of the Time Goddess, which is basically the effect where your opponent doesn't even get the turn. I mean, could you imagine Yu-Gi-Oh where like, you don't even get a battle phase, but your opponent gets double battle phases? I'll talk about that YCS though. <laughs> okay, anyways, jokes aside, this card could be insane, but we don't know what it's going to actually have. If this is the full effect, every deck's going to be running. This card's broken, man. Your opponent doesn't even get to play, um, which is kind of how Yu-Gi-Oh is anyways. You're just, just ask any Goki player. But um, anyways, we don't know if it's going to require you to have like uh, Valkyries or re require like other summoning conditions or other specific other things. But like I said, we got a few new anime cards to check out, so I wanted to kind of talk about them. Uh, this is my first time checking them out, but uh, I also wanted to ask you guys, let me know your thoughts on any of these cards down below. Like, will we have some of these effects change? All right, so the uh, first one that we're going to be checking out is this Emperor card. This is Emperor uh, Trilo Trilogic. And it's got 4,000, 4,000, and what level is it? Uh, level 10. Uh, it is a fusion monster. We don't know the fusion materials. Let me, let me actually, let's zoom up on the card over here. So, its effect reads, When a monster is special from the rerun, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of an opponent's monster. Now, that is kind of balanced in a sense. I mean, although this card has 4,000 attack. Uh, but... It makes it so, you know, uh, when monsters are supposed to... It's just as from the graveyard, which could include yours and the opponent's. I mean, they soul charge, they lose. <laughs> That's pretty dirty. I mean, some decks are all about summoning from the graveyards. You know, zombies is definitely like a deck like that. Um... But that's kind of interesting, uh, and it's, it's equal to the attack of an opponent's monster, so they actually have to control something. So, uh, obviously, if you're just special summoning monsters from the graveyard, you can't, like, FTK them, but you guys know how Yu-Gi-Oh! is. People figure out, you know, crazy, crazy win conditions in the game. This card, I feel like, I don't know what the summoning condition of this card, like, what it requires. For those of you guys that watch anime, maybe let me know. But um, I feel like this card itself... It, it, it has potential to be broken. I don't know. I think we could get the real effect of this again. They have to have a monster to activate that effect anyways. Um, but, I mean, it, it's there's no limit on it. So, I think this card would have to be nerfed a little bit. Uh, I feel like maybe half. I think half might be like a, a potential effect of this card. Then that's Emperor uh, Trilogy. All right, let's check out the next card, which is the number XX Infinity Dark Hope. Let's go check out a little picture of this guy over here. He's got a giant X on him. Uh, X going to give it to you for another 4,000, 4,000 monster, uh, Infinity Dark Hope. Uh, oh, it's a rank 10. Okay. Uh, attack 4,000. I guess they didn't write the defense, but defense 4,000 as well. Anyways, it says, during your battle phase, you can detach an overlay unit uh, to half battle damage, and if a monster was destroyed, special summon that monster from the graveyard. So, that's kind of cool. You have the battle damage. Um, I'm assuming that's if you attack your opponent, you'd want a special summon in that monster. They do take half, but you get to get that monster. Kind of cool. Uh, but then also says, choose one of your special summon monsters during the end phase of the turn, gain the life point equal to that monster's attack, which, I mean, I was, I, I don't know if it has to be a monster special summon by this specific effect. Otherwise, why wouldn't you just target itself? It just says, choose one of your special summon monsters, which obviously this card is going to be a special summon, just heal for 4,000. That, that, that's, that's a hefty amount, but at the end of the day, like, healing is just not, like, a viable effect. This other effect, if it comes out in the, in the game, guys, this is my personal take on it. They'll probably make it so, like, the monster that you special summon is special in defense position, so it's a little bit more balanced in that aspect. Um, I think if it was special in defense mode, Infinity Dark Hope could potentially, like, get its... its uh, this effect, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Maybe half of its life points. 
I don't know. I'm guessing it, it should be one of the ones that uh, you special summon via its effect, but nonetheless, pretty decent little effect too. But it is a ring ten. Ring tens aren't the hottest, although the battleship. Hey, that that would that would definitely support the new battleship that is uh, coming out in the game. Uh, next up, we have Smoke Mosquito Level One. It does. Well, I like how the, the, the picture just <laughs> doesn't even have a tag. Anyways, level one says you can activate when you take battle damage. You can half that battle damage and spell summon this card from the hand, then end the battle phase. That is basically a battle fader, although you half that. And then also, once for this card, this level becomes the same level of a monster on your field until the end phase. That's a cool card. I think that's really good. It's level one. Goes straight into Link Karibo, right? That's good. You know, it, it, it isn't necessarily as good as battle fader because you still have to half that battle uh, damage. So you're still taking damage, right? I think Smoke Mosquito 100%. Let's zoom it up on him. Sorry, I didn't give it. I'm, I'm, I feel like it's nose. If it's going to be like a cigarette or not cigarette, a cigar. I don't know if that's like what's why. I don't know why he's Smoke Mosquito. To me, it doesn't make any sense. Um, unless, of course, like I said, his his nose was or his um, what is it called? His 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 nose uh, is a uh, cigar. Um, but they'll probably censor that, not that it really matters. But I, I think it, it's 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 in that like middle ground of like, yeah, it, it can be better than Battle Fader in some circumstances, it can be worse, but I mean, I honestly think this card could have its full effect. This is pretty cool. This has a little bit of potential too. Uh, I like that, I like that. Uh, I almost feel like he could get the full effect. Let me know if you guys think Smoke's Mosquito would be too broken. I think he, it, it, I mean, keep in mind, we're talking about like that, the rank 10s over here. I mean, that would definitely help out with that, right? You should summon a level 10. Uh, Exodia's a forbidden one. Anyways, next up we have Exceed Wing, which is an equip spell card that says the equip monster can use an effect that requires an overlay unit an extra time. Use an effect? Wait, what? The equip monster can use an effect that requires an overlay unit an extra time. So it doesn't need the C monster material? I don't know. And it says when the equip monster destroys, monster inflict 500 damage to the opponent. Requires overlay unit? extra i don't even understand what exceed wings someone please explain this to me all right so uh, that's it for the anime cards guys let me know what your thoughts are and if we, you guys feel like we can get some of these cards i feel like we could get all of them like i said this one i think we should definitely have like a half the damage it's probably going to be half the damage this card is going to be uh like special in defense mode and mosquito i think you get the full effect but i'm really curious also because uh like i said i wanted to almost make a video specifically dedicated to mischief for the time gods because this is one of the most broken cards um do you think this card will have its full anime effect, guys? Or do you think they're going to make it so, like, activate only if you your opponent has more than 8,000 life points, you discard a card, you have to control no special... You know what I mean? Like, where's the point? It's like, dude, I don't even want to bother running the cards. It's like eroding some of the, our legendary cards, you know? Like, uh, the Chaos Emperor Dragon and, like, all those legendary cards that we just we just don't really use anymore. Even with uh, the Errata, they're just, they're just not the same cards. But anyways, uh, like I said, guys, highly recommend you guys to check out the most broken cards because this card was featured on one of them. All the other cards, I think, are just too new but let me know if you guys think uh, any of these or all of these anime cards will be coming out in the game or if they would have their effects a little bit nerfed down to make them more balanced let me know what their effects would be but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh videos and Yu-Gi-Oh discussions like this one you just saw